What's up everybody, Matt Belair here, and in this video, I want to talk to you about the man, Jim Carrey. Uh, this has been such a pleasant ride for me, looking at all the exposure he's getting, the things that he's up to, the shenanigans, what the mainstream is saying. It's so fascinating. Um, now, I've studied psychology and mass persuasion for a long time, so if you want an excellent documentary, watch the Century of Self by Edward Bernays, and it's it's an incredible documentary. It's quite long, but it's definitely worth a watch. And it talks about how you can manipulate masses of people. So what does that what does this have to do with Jim Carrey? Basically, Jim Carrey is fully awake. This guy is like a Zen master now, and the way he had his awakening, as I can see from what he's released so far, is playing all these characters. So. What he's talking about essentially is the ego. So me, Matt Belair, or you, whoever you're watching this, I could say, okay, Matt Belair, um, I'm an athlete, I have a podcast, uh, my favorite thing to do is skateboarding, snowboarding, um, I like martial arts, whatever the case is, all this surface stuff. So if Jim Carrey were to come in and have to act and play my role, he would have to feel what I feel, think how I think. Um, do all the things that I do to really embody my character and what he noticed was that he was able to embody the character of Matt or whoever he was playing on the screen uh, notably um, uh, shoot that one character that uh, um, that's super important Andy Kaufman that's what it is I had to stop the video and figure that out because it's important uh, but Andy Kaufman, so that was a really important role for him. He looked up to him, played that character, and really embodied that human being. And so what I think happened, and as he's explaining in his documentary and, and from what I can deduce, you play all these different characters, you play all these different egos, and then you start to realize how fragile your ego is, your identity, who you think you are. And um, there's a big difference between who you think you are and who you actually are. Um, and so he goes out and, you know, the reason why I said the Edward Bernays thing is because people call him crazy because he goes to a fashion show and says, I want to find the most meaningless thing that I could find. And it's in his fashion, um, which is interesting because, you know, you can love fashion and you can enjoy fashion. You know, you can enjoy nice cars. You can enjoy nice houses, nice things, nice wine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, the problem is we attach our identity to outer objects. It's very common. We're in a very materialistic society. So, you know, what they're wearing or what they're thinking or what they're doing, it has no bearing. There's no, there's no meaning to that. You know, there's no real grit or authenticity to it. So he kind of draws that attention. And, you know, when they ask him, who are you? I'm not Jim Carrey. Well, you know, if if I were to chop off my arm, you know, I wouldn't be my arm and then I chop off the other arm, I'm still, you know, not I'm not my body. I'm not my arms, I'm not my limbs. And I'm like, okay, cool, I'm not my limbs. Um, am I my thoughts? I start to think about them on my thoughts and you know, they change pretty repeatedly, some a lot of repetitive thoughts, so I'm not my thoughts. So then I quiet my mind, right? And then I stop thinking and then I go into a deep meditative state. And then all of a sudden there's nothing. So then now we're exploring the nature of consciousness and we're getting really deep really fast. And so, you know, my boy Jim Carrey is out there and he has a lot of influence and he's expressing, you know, his real transition to breaking down the ego and understanding what reality is to, is to him. So I hope this video is making sense. It may or may not. I'm not 100% sure. But that's just my take on it because I think that what he's doing is really important. And I think that a lot of people who have power and influence are in the media and are actors or musicians or athletes, you know, for them to really embody what it is to be a, an authentic human being, a kind human being, and to put forth things that matter. Because, you know, if you have influence and you're manipulating people to say, buy something and then they feel good, but not really encourage them to know who they are, to follow their dreams, to inspire them, to um, basically encourage them to figure out who they are and not rely on external things for their own self-worth and their own self-love. So I think that what Jim Carrey is doing is incredible. He is definitely not crazy, but to um, 
to a lot of people, he might be, right? There's a quote by Terrence McKenna, and I heard that he's playing Terrence McKenna in a movie, which would be fantastic. But there's a quote that goes something along the lines that uh, it takes a certain amount of insanity to be sane in an insane world or something along those lines. I'll put it up there. It could be way off. Um, but it basically talks about like not following the norm. And when you don't follow the norm, automatically you're crazy. Dave Chappelle talked about this when he turned down a bunch of money and left Hollywood because the environment was a was a little bit intense, you know. And we see all these things coming out now with Harvey Weinstein and all this kind of thing. And this is something that's been common knowledge, you know. And so, you know, I don't know. Um, it's just important that we start to steer towards things that are authentic steer towards things that matter um, and that, that matter to you. So so that's my rant. I don't think I'm going anywhere else with this. Um, just to say that Jim Carrey is the man and um, you know, figure out for yourself who you are and figure out what that what ego you're attaching to. You know, do, Are you doing this job to keep up with the Joneses? Uh, where are your motivations in life? What do you really want to do? Who are you really? Get connected to that soul and inner essence and you're going to have a more fulfilling life. So that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.